I'm Seth's girlfriend. You know Seth from Linda House. He just had surgery on his mouth, so he can't really speak right now. But I'm going to be doing speaking for him. Today we are going to build a queen size bed frame. So let's get started. We are going to start off with a 12 foot 2 by 6 for the legs. We're going to mark every foot and a half with our speed square. Now we're going to cut along the lines that we marked. Make sure to practice safety, wear your goggles and your ear stuff because you don't want to get hurt. So now we are going to sand these rough edges off of our legs like through here. I don't know how to use this very well. So now that we've got done sanding the legs, we are going to um, stain them. I picked out this really pretty dark kind of color. And I got some vinyl gloves and I'm going to just put them on this towel and wipe it onto the wood. <laughs> okay, now we are going to cut a 10 foot 2 by 6 board in half. This is going to be used for the head and footboard of our bed. Now we are going to take a 8 foot 2 by 6 and we are going to cut it into a 7 foot. All our cuts are made. Here we have eight stained 18 inch boards that will be our legs. These four boards here will support the slats. This is the middle support. These are going to be the headboard and footboard. These are the side railings and these are going to be our slats. Let's start making the legs and take the two boards. And put them together like so. And insert that. Okay, now we're going to screw it in. Make sure it's even. Push, make sure it's against the other piece of wood. I'll give me help push. Laying the house director. I'm gonna hold it there. I want it to go through my hand. And obviously he's not very good at this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now we're going to insert another one. I don't know the technical term for that. Okay, now for safety purposes, Seth is going to insert some screws into the side because we would hate to 
have our new bed collapse. And our leg is done. And it's gonna stand up like so. Isn't that lovely? Now we have got our legs connected to what is going to be our headboard. And what we're going to do is we're going to use washers, nuts, and bolts to connect it for purposes of say we want to disassemble it if we move. Okay, now we are going to drill holes for these nuts and bolts. The incision has been made. <laughs> now for the second incision. install the slat supporters on all four sides and then one down in the middle. Now, we are ready for the slats. <laughs> Awkward. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's how you make a queen size bed frame. Thank you for watching Land the House. See ya. Okay, we're gonna start with a 12 foot, two by six, two by six for the legs. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, do it again. Okay. Now we are going to cut, cut a 10 foot two by six in half. And this is gonna be used for the um, headboard of the queen size bed and the footboard. Ah, he can't talk but he's bossy. Okay, all our cuts are made. Here we have, I don't remember.